Chicago Fire is a super big ongoing series with various characters whom the fan base adores. However, when it comes to these shows, something huge needs to happen to keep things going and to keep the tension high. One of the things this show does is kill off characters. But who is going to die in 2023? Well, stay tuned as we discuss whom fans think is most likely to die in 2023 from Chicago Fire. First up, Chicago Fire, three characters most likely to die in 2023. The Chicago TV shows are currently on hiatus right now following the mid-season finales. However, Chicago Fire is the first to return as it will return for its 11th season in 2023. In its fall finale that many people loved and hated at the same time, Emma Jacobs came back to potentially threaten Sam Carver's current position in Firehouse 51. This was one of the biggest surprises we have seen in the series so far, but plenty more still to come in the next season. So, which characters from Chicago Fire are going to die in this new year? Here are who fans are suspecting to die in 2023. Next, Emma Jacobs might be in trouble in Chicago Fire Season 11. As we just spoke about in the intro to today's video, Emma Jacobs returned to Chicago Fire and came back with a bang. The mid-season finale of Season 11 saw the return of the villainous Emma Jacobs. Since then, many fans have been expecting to see her return in some shape or form with a villainous plot up her sleeve. This became especially intimate with the recent death of Chief Evan Hawkins, but now it seems like a lot more is going to happen moving forward as she is seemingly becoming a regular during the second half of the season. She was really good in the previous season of playing a villain and playing off of Caitlyn, but that was just the start of it. This is what the co-showrunner Derek Haas told TV line about the return of Emma Jacobs. Because Emma Jacobs is a villainous character, we're going to expect a very catastrophic end for her if she does eventually die in this season. It's not like she's just going to die of a heart attack or something random like that. No, she's going to go down in a blaze of glory. We wouldn't be surprised if Jacobs does meet her maker during the season, as she will most likely try to attempt to redeem herself, but fail as she will perish. If Jacobs Jacob dies, we won't be expecting it until the season finale or possibly the penultimate episode leading into the final. It's going to be a huge moment and one that fans have been expecting for a while now. With her returning in a huge way for the next half of the season, it seems like she won't be sticking around for long. But what do you think about all of this? Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below about Emma Jacobs and her possible demise in the second half of season 11 of Chicago fire. And now, Sam Carver may not last this season. Sam Carver entered Chicago Fire as a cocky newcomer to Truck 81 back at the start of Season 11. Stella wasn't all too happy to see him join at first, but they have slowly started developing a very key bond throughout the season, and this is truly going to be put to the test at the end of Season 11. Carter has proved that he is an asset to the truck and deserves to be around the position he is in. However, there are always a lot of risk when newcomers enter the series, as they might see a quick exit from the show. This is what we are predicting might happen with Carver, depending on the audience's point of view on the character. At the end of the most recent mid-season finale, Carver and Stella entered a home to offer first aid to a man with a missile stuck in his leg. This was a very weird situation, but one that the crew weren't all too surprised about. However, sadly, the missile ends up going off, and what happened to the two characters Characters is currently unclear as of today's video. We are expecting to see Carver and Stella Kid make it out alive, but with burns. However, one thing that we are sure about is that doesn't mean that Carver is going to be in the clear. Given his previous cocky attitude as well as his burning willingness to prove his worth to himself and the rest of the team, we wouldn't be surprised if he ends up dying trying to save any other firefighter in the unit or even protecting Stella. It could have turned out that he blocked the blast and slowly saved her, but perished in the meantime, though he most likely won't die off screen and will have a full death scene in a hospital. We are highly doubtful that he will survive this moment. If he does, we're pretty excited as he is a well-written 
character. But with the track record this series has, we wouldn't be surprised if his life ends here. Let us know what you think about this in the comments below. Up next, Mooch's death could be unexpected. Though we have just covered two pretty obvious deaths, and to that people won't be surprised. But if it does happen, our final death to talk about in this video might be very unexpected. Randall McCollin, better known as Mooch, is a staple to Chicago Fire in the 11th season. Though his death hasn't exactly been set up, many fans are going to be shocked to see him go if he does end up going down that way. With that being said, there is still a strong possibility that he may die given the evidence of the mid-season finale. During the mid-season finale of season 11 that aired a few weeks back, Mooch offered to head into the building that was under threat of the missile that Carver and Stella were in. Though it doesn't seem like he's going to die, he ultimately told the team that he would go in and potentially sacrifice himself because he is the oldest member of the crew. He didn't want to let any of the newbies go out, and he said he was proud enough to die if this was the situation. Ultimately, Stella and Sam Carver ended up entering the building and were injured in the blast while Randall stayed behind. However, Randall's willingness to sacrifice his life could be a clue as to what to come in the next half of the season. We could see him enter the building after the explosion and somehow die due to some debris or something else going on. He's the sort of character to go head first in and try to save his crew, even at the cost of his own life. However, out of all the characters we've spoke about in today's video, we hope that he doesn't die as he is a phenomenal cast member and one that fans love dearly. Despite this though, if someone were to die, his death would be truly unexpected and would shock the audience going into the next season. If anything, we could see him die at the end of season 11 in an unrelated thing to what went down in the mid-season finale. Let us know your thoughts on his possible death down in the comment section below, as well as your thoughts on the other two we have spoke about in today's video. And now on to some other Chicago Fire news to wrap up today's video. Finally, Chicago Fire production halted after shooting near set. To wrap up today's video, we have a little bit of information regarding the filming of the Chicago Fire last year. Production on Chicago Fire was halted on a Wednesday afternoon after a shooting happened near the set. Chicago police around the area ended up confirming that an unknown gunman shot at a group of people standing around. This took place on the 5900 block of West Madison at around 1.45 p.m. Luckily, no one was struck by the gunfire and the offender ended up fleeing the scene in a dark SUV. As of today's video, Detective Detectives are currently investigating the situation and we'll have more words shortly. A local report said that many cast members were on the set at the time of the shooting and cameras were even rolling at that time. This means that later down the line we might eventually see this footage and it could help set the tone of what happened on that day. However, this isn't the first time that an incident has occurred near shooting locations in Chicago in recent months. Not too long ago during the filming of Justified, a limited sequel series of the the western crime drama. The set was shut down after two vehicles fired at each other and broke through the show's barricade. The incidents, which occurred around Douglas Park, ended up prompting the entire crew and cast to take cover on the ground. It was a crazy situation, and it's insane to see that these things even happen around film sets. Chicago Fire was in the process of continuous production in its current airing season. When the shooting took place, they are in the middle of a very important scene, so we don't know what's going to happen in terms of if that footage will ever be released. What an insane thing to happen around a film set, right? Thank God no one was injured in the shooting and also none of the cast members were attacked either. This could have changed a lot if one of the cast members were shot or a shooting occurred on set. Please let us know in the comments section below your thoughts on this news as well as the entire video as a whole. Chicago Fire is luckily still filming and we're about to get our first look at the second half of the 11th season season in the coming weeks. It's all built up to this massive moment and we can't wait to see what the mid-season premiere is going to hold. And that's all we have to discuss about Chicago Fire and the characters that are most likely to die in season 11 in today's video. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Hopefully you enjoyed this latest video. If you did, would you please let us know in the comment section below? It would be very helpful. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel with the notification bell rung. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.